Mr. Clown here from Clown Maths. Today we're going to be looking at higher maths and we're on a straight line still. We're almost at the end. We're looking at a point of intersection between two lines. So what I mean by that is if you have two lines, like an altitude, maybe of a triangle and a median meeting together, what is the coordinates of that point? Well, let's have a look at this on a diagram here. So we've got a triangle drawn. So I'll remind you what a median is. A median for me would be the line that goes from A and cuts the opposite line in half. Not necessarily at right angles. Uh, the altitude from B would be the line that goes from B and cuts the opposite line at right angles, but not necessarily in half. Obviously, if it did both, it would be a perpendicular bisector, and we'd be looking at the point of intersection, the point where the two lines meet. If you want to find the point of intersection between two lines, you've got two equations. If you solve them simultaneously, you will find the point of intersection because the point will work for both lines. So that's exactly what we're going to do. To calculate the point of intersection, we're going to solve simultaneous equations. Now that could be by substitution, it could be simultaneous equations by elimination. It could even be graphical, but not usually at higher. So we'll usually look at substitution or elimination. At higher, at National 5 Maths, you solve simultaneous equations quite often by elimination, where you, you set them up in two, one above the other, and then you scale them and eliminate x or y by adding or taking away. At higher, more often than not, we'll do it by substitution where you'll have y equals something, you'll also have y equals something, which means both the, the sides will be equal to each other. Let's look at a few examples like that. Okay, our example says triangle PQR has vertices P, A, 3, Q, minus 1, 6, and R, 2, 3. And if to find the equation of the altitude, a median, and the coordinates of M, which is the point of intersection, as you can see on the diagram. So let's take a note of some of our points, 8, 3, and then r is 2, 3, and q is up here at minus 1, 6. Obviously, I'm not a very accurate diagram, but that is okay. It's accurate enough where we can see that this is a horizontal line. Let's hope it is. Now, we can tell straight away it's a horizontal line just by looking at the coordinates. Notice the y coordinates are the same in each. So, y, since the y is the same in each, it must be a horizontal line because y is equal to 3 in each case. But we can work out our gradient anyway. So let's start off with part A, find the equation of the altitude of QS. So we need the gradient between R and P. So let's work that out. Part A, the gradient between R and P. We'll just use the gradient formula anyway. 3 minus 3, which you can see is 0 straight away. 8 minus 2, 0 over 6, which is 0. So therefore, the gradient of QTS, which is our right angles, which is perpendicular, equals undefined in this case. Usually it's m1 times n2 equals minus 1, but a horizontal 0, a vertical line is undefined. Therefore, the equation of qs is, put it in a little box, a vertical line has an equation of x equals a number. x equals, well, the only number we've got is q is minus 1, so it's minus 1. Find the equation of the median RT. So we need the midpoint of well the Q and P. Just keeping our wits about us, the median is this way, the midpoint of this these two. So that's minus one plus eight divided by two and six plus three divided by two. That's going to give us some fractions. It's going to give us 7 over 2 and 9 over 2. But let's make them whole numbers. Well, not whole numbers, decimal numbers. 3.5 and 4.5. Just because it'll be easier to see the gradient in a minute. So we're now going to need the gradient between R and our midpoint, which is called T. So the gradient of R to T is going to be 4.5 minus 3 over 3.5 minus 2. Well, that is 1.5 on the top, and it's also 1.5 on the bottom, so luckily our gradient is just 1. So now we can use y minus b equals mx minus a, and we might as well just use the whole number 1s, 2 and 3. So using the points 2 and 3 as our a and b, then y minus 3 equals 1 x minus 2. So y minus 3 equals x minus 2 or y equals x minus 2 plus 3 is 1. 
and let's find the coordinates of m, which remember was a point of intersection for these two lines. So there's our two lines equations we're getting out again. We know that x is minus 1, so we can just substitute it into y. Since x is minus 1, then y equals minus 1 plus 1, which is 0. So our point is very simply, in this case, minus 1, 0. And we're done. Okay, 2017 paper 2, question 1 says, triangle ABC is shown in the diagram. The coordinates of B are 3, 0. Let's just note that there. Uh, the coordinates of C are 9, minus 2. And the broken line is a perpendicular bisector of BC. Part A, find the equation of the perpendicular bisector. So part A, for a perpendicular bisector, we need the gradient and we need the midpoint. So let's start off with the midpoint of B and C. So that's 3 plus 9 divided by 2. And it's also 0 minus 2 divided by 2. 3 plus 9 is 12, divided by 2 is 6, minus 2 divided by 2 is minus 1. So we've got our midpoint, there it is there, and then we need the gradient. So the gradient of BC is equal to minus 2 take away 0 on the top, and 9 take away 3 on the bottom. That's minus 2 over 6, which is minus a third. Therefore, the gradient of our perpendicular is going to be 3 since they are perpendicular so m1 times m2 equals minus 1. You always need to write that little statement. So we've now got both of our things. We've got our gradient which is here and we've got our point so we can use y minus b equals mx minus a. So y minus minus 1 because that's a and b equals mx minus a. 6, so y plus 1 is 3x minus 18, so y equals 3x minus 19. Part A done. Part B says the line AB makes an angle of 45 degrees with the positive direction of the x axis. Find the equation of AB. So remember from previous, gradient is equal to tan theta, assuming that theta is the positive direction of the x axis. So our gradient is equal to the tan of 45 degrees, which is an exact value. But I'll remind you of that exact value by drawing a triangle out for you. If I draw a right angle triangle and make that side 1 and 1, it's isosceles, which means that these 45 degrees are here. 1 squared plus 1 squared is 2, so it's the square root of 2 and the hypotenuse. You don't actually need that. You can clearly see the tan of 45 is 1, opposite over adjacent. So our gradient is just equal to 1. Uh, we now need to find the equation of AB. Let's have a look. So we've got A to B. B is 3, 0. So we've got a point and we've got a gradient. So we're fine. Our point B equals 3, 0. Y, sorry, Y minus B equals M, X minus A. In other words, Y equals X take away 3. Copied and pasted the two equations we've just found out because part C says find the coordinates of the point of intersection of AB and the perpendicular bisector of BC. These were our equations that we just found out for both of those things. Notice they both say y equals. So if we both say y equals, we're solving simultaneously, the y is the same for both of them. So we can just make the right hand sides equal to each other. Alternatively, we could take away the two equations from each other. But I'm going to do it this way because it's much simpler. If I just write 3x minus 19, that equals y. So that equals x minus 3. As long as we both say y equals, you can always do that. So solving that equation, taking the x across to the other side, you get 2x equaling, taking the 19 over, 19 take away 3 is 16. So x equals 8. We've got an x, we now need a y. Our easiest y equation is the bottom one, so we'll just use that. y equals 8 take away 3, which is 5. We now need to actually write down the point of intersection. Our answer is 8, 5. Don't underline it, score it, whatever you want. We're done. 2019, paper 2, question 1. Triangle ABC has these vertices. It has a lot of lines drawn on it, but it's just trying to show us what the lines are. So it says, find the equation of a median BD. So we're saying that this is cutting the opposite line in half. So we could show that on our diagram just to help us. 
Well, this is find the equation of the altitude AE, so there's your right angle there. We could note our points if we want, if it helps us to see it. Minus 5, 12, 11 minus 8. And the last one is minus 3, 6. So we'll start, we'll do this in turn. Find the equation of a median BD. Median means we need the midpoint. So the midpoint of A and C, because it's going from B. So the middle of AC is equal to minus 5 plus minus 3 divided by 2 and minus 12 plus 6 divided by 2. That's minus 8 over 2 and it's minus 6 over 2 which is equal to minus 4 minus 3. There's our key point. We've got our midpoint. We now need to work out the gradient of our median. Now notice a lot of people make this mistake. Do not work out the gradient of this line when you're doing medians. It's not going to help us. We want the gradient of the line we're actually doing. We want to work out the gradient of the other line when we're doing perpendicular. So it's not perpendicular, so it's the gradient of BD. So we want the gradient of B to D. D being our midpoint. So we've got... y2 minus y1, so let's just start with 8, minus 3, minus 8, minus, minus 3, all over 11, minus, minus 4. Minus 8, add 3, is minus 5. 11, add 4, is 15. Simplify our fractions to get minus a third. We've now got our gradient, so we can use y minus b equals m x minus a, any of the two points you want, either b or d, I'll just use the one that I can see, so I'm going to call that our a and that our b, y minus minus 3 equals minus 1 third, x minus minus 4. Multiplying through by 3, we get 3 bracket y plus 3 minus minus 3 equals minus 1 x plus 4. Or 3y plus 9 equals minus x minus 4. Or 3y plus x equals, taking the 9 over to the other side, minus 13. And there's part A done. Part B says find the equation of the altitude E. So I've made this a point up called E, that's irrelevant. We want the equation of the altitude from A. So, drawing a little sketch, I can't remember even if it looks the same as this, I just want to get an A, B and C here, so I'm realising that, if I draw that down, it is the gradient of B, C I need to find the perpendicular of the altitude, and I've called this point E. So, starting off with the gradient of B to C, that equals 6 minus minus 8, I've taken note of them up here, all over minus 3, minus 11. 6 add 8 is 14. Minus 3 take away 11 is minus 14. So that's minus 1. Therefore, the gradient of ATE is equal to just 1 since M1 times M2 equals minus 1. We can now use y minus b equals mx minus a with the point a. So we've got our gradient. Our point a is minus 5, 12. Just take a note of that for us. And that's going to be our a and b. So y minus minus 12 equals 1x minus minus 5. And I've underlined that. I should have underlined the 1. Bit silly there. So y plus 12 is equal to x plus 5. Or to put that a nicer way, y equals x. 5 take away 12 is minus 7. Okay, find the coordinates of the point of intersection between BD and AD. Now, I've deliberately made it so that my two equations look different just to show you something. You cannot immediately take these away or add them. You can, but uh, 
you want everything over the same side of each equation before you do that. So you've got two options. You make them both y equals or x equals. Or if it's ever in this situation where you've got a multiple of y, you might as well make the bottom one move to the left-hand side of y's and x's. So you've just got equals a number. So I'm just going to do that now. So your, your top one just stays as 3y plus x is minus 13. But your bottom one becomes y. Taking the x across as minus x equals minus 7. And now you're in this kind of national phi type simultaneous equation. So it's nice and easy to solve. I'm just going to add the equations together to get 4y equals minus 13 add minus 7 is minus 20. And therefore y is equal to minus 5. Once we get our y, we can get our x. So what easiest one is y equals x minus 7. So y equals x minus 7. So minus 5 equals x minus 7. Or x, well, I'll put it this way. Add 7. 7 minus 5 is 2. 2 equals x. Or to put it another way, x equals 2. So our point of intersection is 2 minus 5. And we're done there. This has been Clare Master Day. We're looking at the point of intersection between two lines, especially in triangles and straight lines at higher maths. Take care, stay safe, and goodbye.